well, not Kickstarter, <clears throat> but a business update before we get into the Kickstarter a little bit later, using Forex trading to build financial sustainability. The word sustainability there is the key word for me. Money. How sustainable can money be for you and to you? We all can get a little bit of money. I'll just uh, use the example, an everyday case, where you are paid your money on the 28th for some on the 4th of the next month. And then within three, four days, the money that you have waited for for 30 days is done. Now, that is not sustainable financial management or even the ability to make more money. But this is the preamble. Of all the global markets, the forex trading market is the most traded market on the globe with transactions worth $6.7 trillion. I won't do the translation or approximation in Uganda shilling. The Baganda say, Akatabalika. Uganda has witnessed strong growth in forex trading and we want to understand how that is going on. Here with me is the CEO of Forex Bulls, Daniel Ahichirize. He's going to tell us everything that is forex trading. A very good morning and welcome to the program. Yes, good morning. Mr. How are we doing? I'm very good. Good. And uh, good morning, Uganda. Mm. Mm -hmm. 2023 has begun mm. on a rather bleak not mm -hmm. and i'm always telling my viewers we need to make money yeah. forex trading mm -hmm. is one of the avenues that an average ugandan can make a little bit of money very true it is very technical mm -hmm. first simplify it for me so um uh, what's the whole idea behind forex trading um uh, so the whole idea behind is we trade money we trade currencies so an example would be uh, buying maybe the dollar mm -hmm. for the UGX. Yeah. So it's like what the Forex bureaus do, mm. but instead we are doing it online. So oh because no. not everyone is going to have the money to start a Forex bureau, mm. but you could have money to afford a smartphone, mm. to have internet, mm. and just some small capital to start off, uh, to start off with trading. That's so right. it's just the whole idea of trading money. You're trading the dollar for the UGX, you're trading the pound, and like you said, it's mm. the most traded global market, followed by the stock market maybe, mm -hmm. and then along with uh, probably the futures. And the futures market, So yeah. it's, it's a global traded market, and it's traded 24-5. So 24 hours in five days, just mm. like banks. On weekends, the markets are closed. Well, the markets are closed, mm -hmm. yeah. Interesting so, there. Mm. Let me speak from the layman's perspective. Yeah. Not that I'm not a layman. I mm -hmm. am effectively a layman. If I have 10,000 Uganda shillings yeah. and uh, I am basically smitten by this idea of forex trading, how do I begin and what do I look at in um, terms of return? Uh, so uh, before we get into that, mm -hmm. so the whole idea behind forex is, uh, to me, I look at it as an opportunity to someone who is out there. Mm. You know, because you could still do trading without even having a degree. You don't have to go to university to learn this. Yeah. And then you could even start with something small. Mm. So an example would be uh, someone, let's say someone starts off with something really small. Mm. He will still be able to make money. So an example would be um, someone who starts up, let's say, with 100,000. Mm. That person would be able to put bread on the table. And like someone who is going to put the 100,000 in some other physical, Either way, which business is going to be able to be started with only a hundred thousand? So obviously, it's it depends on which community you're in. Perhaps, yeah. 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 So, uh, but this is a section where you're going to be able. Because an example is, if I'm using a hundred thousand, mm. I could still be able to make maybe five thousand or ten thousand. Imagine you're just making that off your phone, and you're home. You're probably scrolling through social media mm. and going back to your trading platform, and you're making money. Okay. Interesting, right? All right. Uh -huh. Let me be very, very Talajan about this. Mm. 100,000 Uganda shillings, and uh, I mean, this a whole idea of making money through Forex online is basically making me boil. Mm. And I'm like, here I am, 100,000. I'm going to be making uh, 5,000. In what time span um, does that profit? No, okay, not profit, but a return mm. of 5,000. Within which span of time? Now, um, uh, maybe let me just break it way too easily, technically. Yeah, please so, in do. Trade, 
so in trading we have uh, just uh, three types of trading mm. let me just i'm going to find a way to break it down <laughs> so <laughs> so we have uh, what we call day trading day so you're trading, trading just within, uh, within the day mm. maybe uh, you're trading maybe in an hour or two hours meaning you're going to be able to get your returns so the whole thing is these prices keep fluctu uh, fluctuating changing mm, yeah. i know sometimes you hear uh, people say the Ghanaian shillings uh, has lost value against the dollar maybe the dollar has gained value mm. so you just take advantage of those changes mm. so the changes happen in an hour some happen in a day so it all depends someone else is going to get profits after an hour after two hours and then someone else is going to trade for a long while mm. yeah so but what i would recommend is day trading where people can actually be able to make money in a day because mm -hmm. you're trying to do it for a day-to-day -day living i'll be coming to the platforms that can help an individual uh go into forex trading mm -hmm. and what exactly forex bull bulls mm -hmm. do and how they do it but we need to fully and i insist fully understand mm -hmm. this money making thing a hundred thousand you get a shillings we shall go back to that basic threshold mm -hmm. and i'm like within an hour Say, so for example, at uh, what's the time right now? At mm -hmm. 7.52, yeah. the dollar is trading at uh, 3,446 against the Uganda shilling. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Yeah. And then in my projections or based on the advice from, say, for example, an accomplished a trader or yeah. an analyst, somebody tells me within the next two hours, the dollar will be of higher value than it is right now. Exactly. So that means let me do let me go in mm -hmm. is that how it happens exactly so hey. you're taking advantage <laughs> of just that short I know while the things. Mm -hmm. exactly so just taking advantage of that short while mm. uh, maybe an example is these markets are affected uh, by the economy mm -hmm. if many people are getting many jobs more jobs and you know that means the economy is boosting so that means the value of the currency increases and way more other things so you could still take advantage of that short while mm. they say the dollar is going to gain value mm -hmm. you're in mm -hmm. and you're making money so we buy and sell we only buy when the price of the uh, when the value of that currency is going mm. up and then sell when it's actually going down so any time as long as you get that opportunity you're in for the layman mm -hmm. when somebody is told the value of the dollar is going up what do they buy they do buy the dollar the dollar yeah. and then keep it yeah, yeah, yeah. and so then it, wait for the value to go up and then sell it so exactly. they can get exactly you gonna shillings exactly mm -hmm. um uh, so someone being able to buy that dollar it means they either use the ugandan shillings to buy mm. because initially you have something at hand it's like how you go to a forex bureau you want to get the dollar and you have the ugx right mm -hmm. you're going to give away your shillings and they're going to give you the dollar right so it's a whole example. So meaning, when I buy the dollar, I have given out the yen and shilling. So as the value raises, I'm making money. Out there, there's a gentleman mm. I interacted with. I won't name names. And uh, he gave me this idea that he woke up one day with 50,000 Uganda shillings mm. and went about simply, you know, tossing dollar to shilling, dollar to shilling and doing the transactions. And then he went back in the day with an extra 13,000 Uganda, mm -hmm. Uganda shilling. Meaning, if you came out of home with 50 and went back with an extra 13, that is 63,000 mm -hmm. Uganda shillings. Yeah. That was his return for the day. And it was a bad day. So, in other words, there's the possibility of making money on a daily basis without waiting for salary. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, that's what I'm trying to bring out now. You being able to make money from home every day every working phone. day monday to friday on your phone mm -hmm. you understand so you you only need to learn how it's done get a trading platform on your phone yeah. and just some data take us through that mm -hmm. what, what are the trading platforms um uh, yeah so for someone who wants who would actually want to start trading you only have to get a trading platform you could actually get it on um, uh, App Store or Google Play Store. It's called uh, MetaTrader for MT4. MT4. So when you type MT4, they're going to show you the, the, the app. You install that and it all starts up there. So it's, it's a whole process of just, again, learning how it's done. Because, again, it's a skill set mm -hmm. and it's a high income skill set. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference because you being able to make money mm -hmm. is absolutely a high skill. So the whole idea now comes down to how is it done? When do I have to buy or sell? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So largely looking at uh, Uganda in general, how is FX faring? 
Ama um, uh, now surely it's a growing growing industry. I was uh, I was here one year ago mm. and I was uh, You mean on the show? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, trying to create awareness and surely trying to show the way to the most especially to young people out there because mm. to me i've been doing this now for about four years mm -hmm. and i have seen a lot of progress so I've, i i thought about a way how would i paint this picture out how would i show it to other people that it's actually possible mm. you know uh to, to that person out there maybe downtown or to someone you know someone who is just having a phone and literally no job so i feel like this is the best thing that everyone most especially the young people around mm. to actually venture uh, into and looking at the progress we there's a lot of progress now because we have maybe about a uh, hundred thousand people now mm. can't imagine mm. hundred thousand people in just a span of maybe about a year mm. now the issue is um uh, most especially for the online businesses when you tell someone about an online business he's going to be like oh that's fraud oh you know Mm. but obviously whenever there is a new opportunity now lo looking at the, the, the change in technology mm. the country is developing everything is changing and uh, let's look at maybe the cash payments yeah. you see we no longer use cash payments more often That's you're right. going to pay using mobile credit money, you're going to use a credit like card so you can see that the whole technology is changing the whole country is changing and it's a time for these online businesses online ventures to come in um, uh, it's not it may not only be online trading I've seen people making money from YouTube. I've seen people uh, making money from selling products online. Mm. So the whole idea is we being able to take advantage of these online businesses. And uh, the whole big thing around them is you could start small. It's only your phone or your computer and then mm. with just some less capital for you to be able to start. All right, let's be more practical. Here mm. I am on App Store and I see MT4 Smart Manager Finance. Mm. I also see Xness Trade Online Trading. Mm. I see Trading View track all markets mm -hmm. a fx pro online trading which one should i go for um uh, you could install xness xness uh -huh. all right now xness is just a broker i just, just a broker that, i didn't i didn't break that you didn't down break it down i want the one that makes me money oh mm -hmm. exactly that also does so um uh, it's uh trading trading the financial markets it's like let me bring an example of a bank to make it so easy to understand mm. for you to be able to access your money that you studied in the bank you have to go through the bank right so it's the same thing with trading so for us the traders to be able to access the financial markets mm. we need a broker in between you need a broker mm -hmm. in between now these brokers are regulated for them because they deal with money mm -hmm. they deal with people's money yeah so they are regulated under a body for them to be able to transact and uh, what is that body um i don't think we don't have one in uganda but there is a global body Ooh. yeah there is a global body because it's a global market mm. so it's uh so they are regulated ah interesting there mm. by the way i'm being practical the whole prospect of making money is exciting and i'm trying to figure out exactly mm. yeah mm -hmm. excellent trade onlining there's a lot to look out for the process is a little bit uh, winding and that means it could eat into my time on the show and that means the practicals will go on a little bit later but mm. let me speak uh, through you to the youth out there who mm -hmm. might want to make some money out of uh, this what is is it something they can learn effectively by getting the app or um, somebody needs to go for some kind of a module course now um about the process of learning mm. it's uh you know it's an online business online again. business yeah so you could still learn online you could still learn on youtube you could still learn on internet or you could find someone who is actually doing it because mm. that's even more practical yeah. this person has actually been through that and he's a person actually being able to take you through that's uh, that's how i actually came up with the idea of forex bulls it's a, it's an academy because i looked at okay i've been able to do it through this i've been able to make it through this mm. now rather than letting someone to go on youtube for a long because youtube really has a lot of content yeah but how about you broke that content down for someone to be able to digest all that content maybe in a month maybe in two months for them to be able to start making money 
Now, in the past, mm. Ugandans have been victims to internet fraud, and many times it comes in a well-spoken manner mm -hmm. by gentlemen like you. They mm. talk well about it, mm. and uh, it's generally believable. And somebody knows I'm going to make money genuinely. At, at the end of it, there is news that breaks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two hundred people no. defrauded. Yeah, uh, yeah, this has happened. So I how do we work against I, that? I, I always find a way to address that to the people that I can actually reach, mm. and surely not to lie that those people out there and I've actually seen them. Mm -hmm. They come in a way convince people because maybe they are going to show someone that okay this is a new opportunity and this mm. and this and then people fall for it so what's my whole idea behind uh maybe to first address the forex industry itself forex yeah. trading so first things first forex trading is a whole industry where you the individual you are trading on yourself mm. uh, by yourself you are doing the trading by yourself you're not giving away your money right mm -hmm. to some other person i right. like these other online fraud whatever they come in a way of I, i've actually i wouldn't Give want to money. mention some let me make money for exactly. you exactly let mm. me make money for you and you're going to get returns at the end of a week you know how would you trust your money with someone you don't know you understand so i've actually seen all these come they go people do this you know but at the end of the day what i would recommend is people really need to make a lot of research mm. actually me even telling you about forex what i would recommend is you to make more and more research more about research. it right because at the end of the day there are still those bad people who try to take advantage mm. of that new venture that is in the country and uh, they do take advantage uh, looking, but again uh, but again maybe yeah. something to point out again people don't have to just sit around and let things go because surely <laughs> things are changing things, things are, are changing, changing. Eh? Yeah, yeah yeah so you have to take are you advantage. are you trying to address the aspect of risk is uh. that if you are to make money mm. you must be somebody who understands the risk and that you should be able to risk at one point exactly. in life exactly okay. i always i always also want to stress that out mm -hmm. now just like any other business out yeah. there you're going to go into a business and you are going to understand what risk is in there right mm -hmm. so same thing with trading mm -hmm. we still have risks for us to be able to make money we still take risks yeah. so an example would be um if i'm looking at uh, actually we have what we call risk management it's a whole topic in the trading industry so for you to be able to let's say to make fifty thousand mm. you will find maybe you're risking five thousand or three thousand or whatever mm. let's say five thousand for you to be able to make fifty fifty yeah so you understand that at the end of the day at the end of the week you have still been able to make money you've been able to make exactly. money if you can uh, risk five thousand to mm. make fifty thousand it's more like you can uh, say on the weekend i'm not going for that nyama choma and uh, drink which could take us more more than five thousand and uh, put it into some forex trading so yeah. you see how it happens if it comes the way you expected it then perhaps you can go in but caution it's not my job to tell you what to do caution and the expert is here who is doing it all right so when it comes to learning and uh, receiving not meant well mentorship but mm, having mm. somebody like uh an analyst to help you mm. understand exactly global trends mm. where are the best mm, currencies how the best currencies are trading mm -hmm. and where to yeah. put your money there are currencies we don't know about when people talk about the dollar the euro and somebody could tell you hey man go for the you know the polish currency go for the currency in bahrain yeah, yeah, yeah. you know trading that mm, mm. is it something that you help uh, clients with oh yeah, yeah yeah sure so uh like i said so we brought up this idea what we could actually show now people mm. how should it be done what currency should you actually be trading so you could still be able to learn mm. freely you could still be able to make research and learn by yourself mm. But now what we do is we try to break it down easily. Understand what are you supposed to be trading? What should be your expectations? How much money are you going to be making at the end of the day, at the end of the week? You know, all that broken down. So we do that. Yes. Yeah. I'm a Ugandan mm. and uh, a layman for that matter. We understand things in absolute terms. If at the end of the month I've involved myself in forex trading, how much money or what range of returns could I be looking at? So, so that I juxtapose it mm, with, mm, say, salary. Mm. I hope my bosses are not hearing this. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So um, uh, again, uh, so in trading, mm. we always look at at least you making 
10% up to 20% mm -hmm. of your returns monthly. But the aspects where you make way more than that. Mm -hmm. So to break down an example of me personally. Perfect. I, exactly. So um, uh, there was a time uh, probably last year mm -hmm. and I, I didn't have that enough money. And I was still trading. How much? But there was a How point. Much were you putting in? Now I'm going to share an example. Mm. I was actually trading maybe with about a hundred thousand, mm -hmm. just a hundred thousand, and I was actually able. That's to on a daily basis. On a no, no, no. That that was my capital. That's what I was trading oh, off with. Okay. Yeah. So I was actually trading off with that, and I was able to make up to maybe two million in about um, two weeks. A hundred thousand to two million in just mm -hmm. two weeks so my whole picture out is you could still be able to make more more than but that. Yeah. the standard rates are you being able to make 10 percent up to 20 percent per uh per month mm -hmm. and now that applies to people with big money but then mm -hmm. someone who's trading uh, off with a uh, hundred thousand you have made 10k in a day that's already 10 percent of your money in a day mm -hmm. you know um uh, let's say you've made uh twenty thousand that's about 20 percent already in a day Mm. So now look at uh, someone in a month. You could be able to make up to 300k or 400k or something. All right. Just mm. for clarity purposes, uh, first of uh, January, you've used 100,000 Uganda shillings. And then uh, that day, by the end of that day, you've made an extra 20 or 10. Mm -hmm. That 100 stays there. Exactly. In, on your account or the platform. And it continues to make money for you like mm -hmm. that. Okay. And now I you're getting it's... in 20 per day or 10 per day. Mm -hmm. You're able to put bread on the table. You're even able to sell some money off. All right. Uh, you said you're from uh, Forex Bulls. That's right. Forex you're Bulls. the CEO. Mm. Okay. No doubt. I hope you have learned and you can take note. That has been taken note for this uh, segment of Morning at 10 TV. Making money 2023 to Inochikuwa. No doubt about that. Let's go for a break. watching morning at ntv